Hello everybody, welcome back to this channel. Uh, if you know me, of course you know my name is Seth and I like cosplay and I like spooky stuff. If you don't know me, welcome to this channel and you're in for a treat because the channel name is changing from Sephiranthus, which is who I am, to a collective effort name, which is Anthus and Laventa. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. This is Puck. Hey. So you guys probably, hopefully, recognize me as Todd um, in any of the Sally Face videos. I also have cosplayed May, and maybe by the time this is up, you'll see the Over the Garden Wall in which I'm Greg. Not Greg. I'm Wirt. <laughs> I'm Greg. <laughs> I am Wirt. Yeah, whenever this goes up. Yeah. Whenever this goes up, which I'm sure will be after. Um. So yeah, so we've been cosplaying and I'm just gonna kind of like rewind time. We've been friends for a very long time. Honestly, yeah, I'm 27 now. You're 26. 26. We met when we were 14, so just take that as you will. Yeah, <laughs> a long time. Yes. So as you, uh, if you are accustomed to my channel or just joined, I will reiterate once again, we like cosplay and spooky stuff. And the reason for the name change is because it's it's not just me that puts things out, it's a collective effort. And I feel we are most creative when working together, and I make the best content when we're working together. So we just kind of wanted to combine these brains and see what we can come up with. Um, so the future that we are planning with this channel is to continue, of course, doing plenty of cosplay content. We are not done with Sally Face. So. Not in the slightest. <laughs> we have so much to come. Oh, absolutely. So if you are here because you like my Larry cosplay or you like our Sally Face content, there's plenty more to come. Don't worry about that. And there's a lot of other cosplay content in mind, as well as spooky stuff, whether that be ghost stories, reading stories, just anything really, or original content. We have a lot of that yes. in plan. Um, I don't know if you had anything in mind that in particular you wanted to do. Um, yeah, so hopefully you can see the wonderful collection of books in front of you. Um, but my goal is to talk about like one spooky stories by authors, but also weird things that happen surrounding authors. Um, just kind of, I, so for more background, I have no problem saying I'm an English teacher. Hello. <laughs> Um, Teacher! <laughs> yeah. Uh, English is my passion. Literature specifically is my passion. Um, so I like focusing on the spooky side. So I'll talk about things like, you know, your mainstream authors like Edgar Allan Poe, Stephen King, Anne Rice. Yes, I'm wearing my little Poe shirt. Made it myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to. And on the Stephen King note, we have matching uh, Loser yes, Lover so. tattoos and R&E. Their R&E is right there and mine's right there. Yeah. So I know you've seen both of us before. I know. I been, hope. <laughs> yes. That has been predominantly like Seth making one-off videos. So you can look forward to seeing both of us collaborating some more and, you know, just kind of sitting down doing stuff like this. Um, additionally, I will be adding my own videos as well. So, you know... Like, for example, I'm going to be redoing my craft room, and that will probably be one of the first videos I upload. And I know it's not strictly cosplay, but it's still relating to all my cosplay mm -hmm. stuff. And the theme is very Beetlejuice-esque, which I love Beetlejuice as yeah. well. <laughs> Green and purple lights right yes. here. Um, so, yeah, uh, just there's not going to be like a huge change in content necessarily. You're still going to get the same old stuff, but you're going to get some new stuff. A um, lot. A lot of new stuff. stuff. Um, and I'm going to be more active as far as like uploading stuff. So you'll mm -hmm. hear from the both of us a lot more. Mm -hmm. And on that no, I will say like we have made content in the past. Um, if you are unfamiliar with the content we've made before, um, we did a series Ghost Snappers for Sally Face, which is a three episode series, which I think at this point we're going to have to put on an indefinite hiatus due to situations with uh, the other actors. Um, we also did Nobody Files, which is an homage to Kingdom Hearts, and we very much love Kingdom Hearts. We also have tattoos for that. Um, watch me whip up my whip leg. Whip up my <laughs> leggy! <laughs> so, like, we, there's a lot of fandoms that we're interested in, and if the only thing that you're interested in that I do is Sally Face, that's perfectly fine. We have a lot more stuff. If you prefer the ghosty, spooky stuff we do, that's fine. We got stuff for that, too. Uh, you know, anything really. Um, 
But yeah, we're, we're basically going from producing a little bit of content in the past to hopefully producing, and I will not monetize this channel, a fuck ton more of content. And um, I will put this in here as an Easter egg if you two are watching from Mickey and Kath. A lot of this was inspired because of um, in our friendship with them. And I will fondly remember a drunken South Park night where we collectively decided let's start making videos together. Um, also, reference on that is Puck and I do improv. Um, we're both very much into theater. I used to be a theater major and I work volunteer at a theater downtown in our city, but currently due to the pandemic, we cannot do any of those things, so we do improv on our own time, and that's what we're doing here. Yeah, if you see our videos, and if you've seen uh, New Memories, Sally Face, if you've seen um, The Edge of Proximity, Night in the Woods, a lot of that stuff is pure improv. A lot of them are one-shot wonders. We do one take, and then we're satisfied with it. It's pure improv, and we don't script it, so... And that's another thing we do is just theater. <laughs> yes, lots of, lots of theater. Again, lots of videos, lots of cosplay. And that's one of those things like when it comes to cosplay, uh, you kind of get into the mindset of the character. And that's where a lot of our, I feel like our creative talents end up getting put into place is just getting the mindsets of our character. And that's what sparks pretty much everything is like, we, we love our characters so much, we want to see more for them. So we're like, let's make it happen. Absolutely. Uh, so if you don't have anything else in mind, we can start with our game. I, I guess. think we're good. I don't think I have anything else. Alright, so we have this game, and I will admit I was inspired by Nick's Rising. I'm a big fan of them. To do this game where I have... Uh, not the bird. I have... Not um, the bird! Protect. Protect myself. I have put all of our names... Um, who do act in our videos. Is this seven of us or six of us? Seven? seven. Yeah, there are seven of us. Um, Puck's lovely husband is also a member of us. Uh, he mostly prefers to help behind the scenes. And yeah. so, but he has yes. been like left sword in yes. our Nobody Files. Uh, Nobody Files. Um, and a video that will never see the light of day because it didn't get finished, but he was Baby Waffles once. <laughs> Baby Waffles! Um, anyway, so getting back into this, like, I... Where's my phone? We should pull up the list on our phone. We could just... I don't know anything off the top. I say we do improv. He says I do improv. We do improv. <laughs> We're not going to look up at the list. We're going to just do what comes to mind. I like plants. Improv. So I put all of our names that um, either have acted in our most recent videos or will be acting in future videos or I will make acts in future videos. <laughs> I put all of our names on these cards. So we're going to go back and forth and just say like who is most likely to out of the group of us to do this in one of our skit videos clearly cosplay i'm not talking about spooky vi videos stuff like that yeah. clearly cosplay videos so who is most likely to and then at the count of three we're gonna pull up the card name and say who it is um so i guess i will start okay so i think pick the card of who is most likely to break character mm. so i have mine and then a count of three will lift it up. And since I can't see the viewfinder from here, I'll when probably you say break this character, down. do you mean like spontaneously stop laughing? Or start, start laughing, laughing? Okay. or yeah, something like that. Okay, okay you ready? Three, two, one. Did what you did you your say? You. Uh, I picked Sam. <laughs> I picked you. And my reason behind that is because I remember like filming new memories. Well, that was it. They were making faces at me. <laughs> I specifically. Okay, if it were not the faces, I specifically remember there was, um... Well, technically it's not you breaking character. I remember Ghost Snappers a while ago, the gorilla hand picking up the walkie-talkie. Yeah, that was them making fun of me. I, I remember so that. I, and then... I have, I just, it's not that I have big hands. I just have a very large splay of my hands, and I'm like, let me grab everything at once. And <laughs> that wasn't me. They stopped filming, they're like, what the fuck was that? It looked weird. And the other thing I remember is you were sitting over there and it was episode one of New Memories and it was Todd trying to like look at his phone and be like, and the first time you did it, you dropped your phone. I was like, and then the second time you did it, you were like, don't drop the phone. And so you went, <laughs> so that's why I'm thinking of you. All right. What is your, who is most likely to what? Oh, I had Sam. <laughs> uh, because as serious as Sam can get. He is also the first one, the minute you start staring at him, he breaks, like, all the time. In my mind, he breaks all the fucking time. 
Do you remember that thing we did? We were like, try to laugh, but keep a straight face. And yes. He was like, ha 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 ha. damn it. Can you laugh and keep a straight face? Ha 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 that wasn't a straight face, though. <laughs> it started on okay. a straight face. Anyway. I can't do a straight face, I'm not sure. <laughs> we ain't straight, anyway. We ain't straight. Um, so yeah, what do you, what do you have? Um, like, who is most likely to... <sighs> who is most likely to... Give me a second, I'll come to me. Uh, could be anything. Anything at all. Down the stairs. Fall down the stairs. Oh, okay. I have my answer. <laughs> you got I have my answer. Are you ready? Three, Three two, two, one. I have you. I have you. <laughs> You're thinking me on everything. So I was far. remembering you with the chips and the dip on the tray coming down but the I stairs. Did. But you did it. I was did I. I was worried. No, I just think of whenever you wear whenever you wear your demonia, you're like, oh, whoa. Yep. No, oh, here I come. Oh gosh. Okay. Mine is who is most ready to likely to tell everyone to shut up first. Uh, so to any weird cut that might have just happened, the battery died, so I just changed it, so whatever. Anyway, the last question was, who is most likely to tell everyone to shut up first? You ready? Three, two, one. Is it me? Yep. <laughs> Always. I film, and I have to tell people sometimes, either stop drinking or shut up in the background. It's a lot of shut up in or, the background. Or film now, because especially when we were filming the Night in the Woods music video that we did, Precious daylight, and everyone was eager to get out of cosplay fast because we were in cosplay for a while. You were hungover. So, that was the issue. I wasn't hungover. No, I wasn't hungover. Mickey was. <laughs> Mickey was. We're throwing you under the bus, Mickey. You were hungover. To be fair, we were all up until 4.30 in the morning screaming Disney songs outside in the cabin. So I don't blame you. Yeah. But if I'm like, everyone wants to get out of cosplay fast. We have limited amount of daylight. We want to get this done fast. Let's do this fast. Everyone, let's... Get this done. So okay. I am most likely to be like, let's do this. Yes. All right, what you got? Same reason. Oh, question? Your question? I know your reasoning. <laughs> um, I know who I am. Who is most likely to forget something? Could it be like an object or what exactly? Something that we need for filming. Three. Two, one. one. Is it me? Yes. <laughs> All the time. Can I not fail? I want to throw me under the bus. I'm gonna throw them under throw the bus. Throw me under the bus while I, I see. Oh, my mom just. Hey, hey. So, I know when we're planning a big thing, there's a lot of things involved, and so I set them a list just to be like, you know, I'm not telling you yeah. that you'll forget, but you know, I remember we talked about In this my once. I had already left the house when I got that list. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I sent this text and I was like, I we, we might have um, talked about this once maybe a week ago. And I remember talking about it, but I know you've been working on cosplay. So I'm going to send you this list of things we talked about. The text didn't go through. And what was it like on the way to the cabin for the music video? You forgot the knives for Greg, your forgot shoes. Knives, my shoes. And the fairy lights. And the fairy lights. Oh, and then my extension, extension cord. cord. <laughs> Four things. And that's not the only time. I constantly, like, we'll be at cons. Once we went to a convention, I forgot my whole fucking outfit for, for a character. It was, like, it was like half, and you had the gauntlets for Bakugo, right? I had the accessories. I consider, okay. And so, the wig. Yeah, but then I forgot everything for May, too. So I literally wore the same outfit for Bakugo that I wore for May, which was a fishnet crop top pleather pants, my nude binder, and of course I had their wigs, um, and, and my makeup. I mean, that worked, yeah. And my boots. Yeah. I always wear my boots. My go-to <laughs> boots. But that was it. Like, so I forgot my shirt and my pants for May, forgot my shirt and my pants, my gloves, my actual Bakugo boots, um, but I had all the accessories and the wigs. <laughs> So that I 
yeah, I always forget shit. Always. Like, important shit, too. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I have no problem throwing myself under the bus. I'm a forgetful individual. Oh, my gosh. I'm so scatterbrained. All right. Next question. Okay, this one's going to be really vague, so take it as you will. Oh, shit. Who is most likely to be the most surprising? What do you mean, most surprising? Whether it being just... Their acting, what they bring to the table, what okay. they do. That wasn't hard. Oh, God. Yeah, I gotta find mine. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. I have Kath. I have Sam. Oh. What do you have, Kath? Okay, so I was just thinking about the time, the fact that Kath has never done improv. And when yes. we were doing new memories, like when he was Travis, like we did that whole go through and like he was in the car, like no prep on improv whatsoever, no theater background. Um, and like, it was just a one take, like mm -hmm. he's very expressive. He's really good about figuring out what to say. So that's why I say Kath, not that I know Sam's not surprising, but like- It was first it was, to come to mind. Yeah, mm -hmm. first come to mind, I guess, cause it was so recent, but like that whole yeah. idea that like Kath was so quick to jump onto it when, like me, Kath doesn't have an improv or theater background. Yeah, I remember when we were filming New Memories, I'm like, hey, we're gonna film this improv, and Kath was like, I've never done this before, I'm nervous. And so to get them uh, ready for what we were gonna do, the first scene that we filmed was the kitchen scene with like uh, Larry, Sal, and Todd. Mm -hmm. And it got really feelsy right off the bat, cause that's what I like doing. And it was like, holy shit, like Kath saw like what we did. And I think after that, maybe that's when I filmed Kath outside mm -hmm. of the car. And it was one take wonder, like the emotions in the face were absolutely perfect. So I yeah. see that. Um, I put Sam, let's see, because uh, Sam is uh, the, a very humorous one in our group, makes jokes and likes to laugh and make people laugh and everything. If you've ever watched Good Mythical Kitchen, he's, he's like Josh. Yeah. Dead up. Yeah. Like every time I watch Good Mythical Kitchen, I see Josh and I'm like, he reminds me of Sam. Just the <laughs> tangents. I could see the that. tangents he goes off. Or like the bullshit. Well, I was gonna think like when someone's like, oh, I've never heard of this thing. And he's like, so, so let me tell, tell you. This you thing. So. But everything he says is <laughs> not no, about that no. thing. Exactly. People are like, do you know what Lord of the Rings is? Okay, Lord of the Rings is about a guy who makes meth in his basement. Like that's what he would say. Anyway, <laughs> so that's not why I'm saying it's Sam about is the drug ring one. that he follows up with. <laughs> The, oh my, the fellowship of the drugs. <laughs> That's what Sam would say. It is. Um, but no, I didn't put Sam as surprising for that. I put him down for that because like off camera, of course, it's like very laugh. He, he always brings great ideas to the table and that's not the surprising part. The surprising part is that we'll go to start filming and I'll record yeah. his facial expressions and they will just like all of a sudden just put you in the gut. Mm -hmm. Like I remember there were two times I filmed him uh, for Ghost Nabbers episode three when he was um, Todd Robinson or, or uh, no, it was Tom. 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 Todd. I was thinking about Todd's other face. Yeah. Um, but we, I recorded him outside, and he was supposed to be drunk outside and sad and upset, and like it looked like he was actually sad and upset. And then when we filmed the um, Night in the Woods music video of Casey coming out and like seeing everybody around the fire pit outside. <laughs> He slowly fell into that emotion and looked at us, and it looked like he was about to cry. And yeah. I'm like, literally two seconds ago, you were laughing and cracking jokes, and now it's like, huh! Yeah. He, he can get very serious very fast, which I guess that would be surprising for someone who's not used to it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just the reason why I didn't think about him immediately, is because now I know his range of being <clears throat> comedic. <laughs> of being <laughs> comedic. Get used to that. That's what I do. We um, uh, being comedic to be being, be being, be be being very serious. So I think that's amazing. Absolutely. All right, okay. what you got now? <sighs> Who is most likely to? I, I'm not good with coming up with things on the spot. Improv. <laughs> <laughs> you say that. Um, who is most likely to get hyper fixated on a new fandom and make everybody get involved with it? So drag people into that fandom. Who is most likely to drag people into their new obsession? Okay. I'm ready. Three, two, two one. one. I have Sam. I have you. <laughs> okay. Why Sam? So I 
say Sam because Sam is constantly in the process of like showing us the new things that he's learned, new things that he's discovered, um, new for him clearly. So like bands, TV shows, movies, uh, not just that, like podcasts sometimes. Like he's very quick to be like, hey, have you heard about this? Here, listen to this. This, this is what I found. Listen to this artist. So I, I, I consider like being listening to music as a fandom because you can be yeah. a fan of their music. So I think he's he's the person who's very quick to be like, hey, listen to this, and he's like most of the time will be interested in it to some degree. And so that's why I consider him like dragging yeah. us into it. It's like he showed us uh, Mystery Skulls and yeah. Has Been Hotel. I don't know if you saw it beforehand, but I saw yeah. Has Been Hotel because of Sam. So. And, and like we both knew about Mystery Skulls before, but it's really cool when he's like, hey, have you heard of us? I'm like, yes, I have. <laughs> have you heard? Have you heard the word? But I put you down for off the top of my head, I can think of three reasons. One, we didn't all get into My Hero Academia until Puck got into My Hero Academia. We didn't get into Night in the Woods until you showed me Night in the Woods. Mm -hmm. And then we didn't all start playing Scooby-Doo cosplays and stuff until you were like, Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Like, clearly it's a, I get that. it's a big part of his yeah, life. Yeah, so. so if you don't know, uh, you can kind of see it. Um, it should be this way. So I just got my Scooby-Doo tattoo. It's still crusty. It's still healing. <laughs> crusty boy. Crusty. <laughs> um, I've been obsessed with Scooby-Doo since I was in elementary school. <laughs> it's a very long time. Yeah, so yeah, I, I was thinking more of my hero. I didn't think about Night in the Woods, and like, even though we're mm -hmm. playing like Scooby Doo cosplays, spoiler. Um, I'll I be Daphne. I'll be Velma. Um, I didn't really think about that, honestly. I The only thing I yeah. I'm like, hmm, uh, the only thing I've dragged everybody into is my hero. Oh, Night in the Woods, you showed me the game, and for the music video, if, if you're just joining on this and you haven't seen. The rest of the channel, we did a Night in the Woods music video to the song Meet Me in the Woods by Lord Huron. It is on the channel. Check it out if you want, but you please, showed me please. that song, and I was like, oh, we could do a music video to this game, and you showed me the song, and you really introduced everyone to the game. Like, Sam wasn't, he didn't, I don't, I don't think he knew about it or played it before you showed it to it him. And it hit hard for yeah, him. Yeah, he also wants to get a tattoo of it. If you didn't know, like, Puck also has a tattoo yeah, of Night in the Woods. Uh, so yeah, uh, so I guess it's my turn. Yep. Um... Who is most likely to make the rest of us cry in a good way? Okay. Mmm. Alright, how my answer? Three, two, one. one. Who do you I have? have Donovan. I have Sam. I have Donovan. Alright, okay. why, why do you have Donovan down? Um, so I have Donovan because Donovan uh, is a man of few words. He's also my husband. Yes. <laughs> um, I consider, like... Donovan doesn't always speak up about everything he's thinking. He has like a lot of thought processes and I know sometimes he gets overwhelmed with it. So that's why like whenever he's very open about something um, and like he gets feelsy, I feel like it hits 10 times harder. Uh, for example, like Seth told me that Donovan really liked a shot that we had in our Night in the Woods music video that, you know, I'm like, hey, we should try that. Yeah, it's your idea. And like knowing that he thought so highly of it like was very emotional for me it sounds silly but so that's why i picked on because again he's a man of few words and when he does talk about certain things he he can very much say like hey you know blah 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 blah, blah. and it's like <laughs> yeah oh thank you <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. He reminds me of Zach a lot, too, in that manner. I can see that. All right. Your turn. I put Sam down because Sam always has a really good way of... This may not necessarily be in the skit videos that we produced. Um, I, it's, it's the con videos. I was thinking about KatsuCon. So, Puck and I have been to KatsuCon three times now, but the rest of the gang's only been twice now. Um, and so, both of the times that we were able to bring Sam along, he's prepared... Not only at Katsukon, but also my wedding. Um, Sam ha is really good at preparing these speeches where he brings everyone together and focuses on friendship and the memories and the times you have together. And it's very feelsy because a lot of us, like, are very much like... No emotions. Yeah, like, I, I have a lot of feelings about my friends, but I'm not the kind of person who's just going to outwardly say it or touch people or hug people or anything. And so... 
when Sam so willingly has speeches and talks about friendship in that way and regards the moment in such high regard, it does hit me even if I don't I outwardly express it. But he has a really good, great way of being like, I'm going to say this, we're going to sit down, I'm going to say this to cherish, cherish this moment together. So Yeah, I get that. Yeah. yeah he's very he's very quick to like have his speeches that are emotional, yeah. which are sweet. So Sam, if you're watching this, you hit. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. And let's do a couple more and then we'll... Yeah. Um, this doesn't count for this question. Uh, who's most likely to get distracted by an animal while filming? I have my answer. Three, Three two, two, one. one. You. Cat. <sighs> it is cat. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I do. I love animals and I'll see a cat in something, but if I'm in filming mode, I feel like I'm very much like, okay, and I say Kath because a few times we were trying to film Sally Face and Belle oh, was down here. Which, if you so if you see me leaning over right now, it's because I'm petting my cat. Come here, BB. Oh yeah, pick her up. See you oh, again. she's a chunky girl. She's chunky. She's my baby Belle. I love her. I'm surprised she's not screaming right now. No, it's because she loves the attention. Oh my god. Yeah, this is what I've been doing. That's why you see me leaning over right now because I'm petting her. <gasps> But we'll be filming something and Maybe. Belle will like meow before the shot or just be walking through the shot and Kath will be like, I'm sorry, I heard Belle. I yeah. saw Belle or something. That's right. I think it was Kath during New Memories. Kath saw Belle's butt and just started breaking. Because <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I just saw the kitty butt. Yes. And I can't remember who it was at the cabin. I don't think we were recording. Well, we were all... No, it was either Mickey or Kath with the birds at the bird feeder, and they were like yeah. really fascinated with them. And I'm like, we're recording right now. Yeah, I'm not. I don't remember. Ah, uh, okay. So I guess it's my turn to think about something. Yeah. Who is most likely to get drunk first? Where's my answer? Where's my answer? I found my answer. Three, two, one. one. Who you got? Mickey. Mickey. I'm <laughs> calling you out, bitch. So, my thought that I had was, who is most likely to uh, be jumpy during a ghost hunt? I'm stuck between two. I was gonna put, pick two. Okay, you know what? Pick I'm two. picking two. We're picking two. All right. I'm ready. I, don't look at my answers yet. I, I saw the back of them, I didn't see the answers. Okay. Three, two, one. one. I have you and Mickey. I have me and Kath. Oh. Mickey's not jumpy at Mickey all. Mickey is so jumpy. Oh, I saw Mickey at Waverly Hills and he was so calm and collected. Oh, so I saw him and me and Kath were too scared on the fourth floor to even ghost hunt. I remember that. Mickey went ghost hunting with That's y'all. Right. And That's me and Kath right. were like, it, because <laughs> Mickey, so here's the thing. When we went to Waverly, there's an elevator shoot where apparently a uh, a homeless veteran was shoved down and killed. Sorry. Real quick, before we continue on that, the website and BuzzFeed will tell you the homeless man fell. He was pushed. He was murdered and they couldn't tell us. By a bunch of us. teenage kids. They were minors, so they couldn't tell us who did it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's very true. Anyway, um, the elevator shaft, like, when the door closes, there's, like, a little screen, like, glass part. Well, that's gone now. And so Mickey, that's right, Mickey, I should not pick Mickey, I should have picked Cap. Mickey, brave as balls, shoves his hand into the elevator shaft <laughs> and he's like, hmm, I don't feel anything. And Kath and Seth are here like, don't go near, don't go near, don't, what don't, are don't you doing, do Mickey? Exactly. And that's why I picked me and Kath is because yeah, like, I we, we jump. And then I remember, I think it was on the fourth floor. And so like I, when we're ghost hunting, I will not walk in the back because whether there's a ghost behind me or not, I'm going to feel like there is. And so I'm going to get jumpy when I shouldn't be jumpy. So I don't like walking in bath. It, bath. <laughs> back. And so Mickey and Kath were behind me. And then they were like, something's falling behind us. And I didn't have my camera going at that point. And so and the fourth floor on Waverly Hills, just it just felt like something was wrong. And so we didn't feel comfortable continuing on that floor and it felt safer by the open. They're not windows because there's no windows. It's just open air. There's and so windows, me but not on that floor. and Kath and Zach just hung out by the windows. Yeah, that's right. And like, it was Donovan, Mickey and I that went wandering. Like I at one point broke off from Donovan and Mickey and just walked by myself. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So yeah, I should have picked Kath. <laughs> this is a con to both of us. Yeah. And I will still ghost hunt. I don't Always care. Always yes. be looking. There's going to be more. Mm. All right. Thank you guys for watching. That was us introducing the channel as well as uh, members of the channel and people who act with us and everything for the new channel name, Anthus and Laventa. Laventa Creations, yeah. a &L Creations. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you've been watching this channel, thank you very much for being a viewer. If you are just now joining us, I hope you've enjoyed this, if you made it this far, and if you like our future content. So with that note, peace. See ya. <laughs> message um i was sent a message to uh to <gasps> no not doing dming to pull up what's the so, <clears throat> what separanthus i saw that used to be separanthus 